In this video, I'll be creating VMI filters to detect Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers. For group policy, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be creating a VMI filter for Windows 10 and also Windows 11. And now I'll begin this video by going to my Bamber workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here first I will show you my setup. So first I will go to Tools and Go Policy Management. Here you can see I have two policies. One is called Windows 10 only policy and the second one is called Windows 11 policy. Both of them are assigned to this organization unit called Users and also both of them don't have any VMI filters currently. And now I will show you what I have inside of my Users organization unit. For that I will go back to the Server Manager tools and then active directory users and computers and here you can see the users organization unit and it has a single user in it and the idea for this video is that when this user is working with windows 10 computer i want this policy to apply and when he is working with windows 11 computer i want for this policy to apply and on my client machines if i go to my client 01 that i have here it's a windows 11 client you can see that john is signed in i will open cmd and then I will go back to my GitHub page to grab this command right here. This will show us what group policies are applied for this machine. Well, for this user on this machine. And as you can see, applied group policy objects are Windows 10 only and also the Windows 11 only. And once again, I will go back to my GitHub page. I will grab the same command and go to my Windows 10 client once again. John is signed in. If I search for CMD and insert the same command, we can see the same result. Both policies are applying for this Windows 10 machine. And to fix this, I will be creating VMI filters. And for that, I will go back to my server. I will right click on VMI filters and select new. The first VMI filter that I will be creating will be to detect Windows 10 machine. So I will name it Windows 10 computers. Then I will click on add and I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this query that will detect if the machine is a Windows 10 machine. And I will click on the button right here to copy the snippet, go back to my server, insert the value here, then I will click OK and save. Now let's create a second VMI filter. Once again, right click on VMI filters and select new. And this time this one will be for Windows 11 computers. I will click on add, go back to my GitHub page and copy the second query. I will insert it here, then I will click OK and save. And now that I have my VMI filters, I can use them on my policy. So first let's use it on the Windows 10 only policy. For VMI filters, I will select Windows 10 computers, then I will click on yes. Now let's do the second policy. And here I will select Windows 11 computers. Click on yes and that's basically it now to test if my vmi filters are working i will go back to my client 01 that i have here i will type gp update first press enter and wait a bit and as you can see the policy update was successful if i run the gp result command once again this time you can see that we have windows 10 only policy filtering denied and this means that windows 10 policy is not applying on this machine and for the applied group policy objects, we have this Windows 11 only policy. So everything seems to be working just fine. Let's double check with my Windows 10 client. Once again, I will perform GP update, press enter and wait a bit. Once again, the policy update was successful. So let's run GP result. And once again, we can see that Windows 11 only policy is denied. And the only policy that is currently applied is the Windows 10 only policy. And that means that the VMI filters are working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.